drop a like if you think this is the new mythical. Okay, so the countdown is here. We've got one day, six hours until the next update and Big Games have tweeted that cute, cuddly aliens are arriving to Pet Simulator X. However, it does say that part of the update this Saturday at 11 a.m. CST. So what is going on? Is this a two-part update? Well, let me explain. So we were expecting hoverboards in this update and also in my previous leak video, we were expecting these cute, cuddly aliens. Now, cute, cuddly aliens have just been confirmed and we've got some more leaks, some more images to show you in this video. But first, what happens to leftover candy? after the update well you've got to spend it says preston so that is our job for today and that is your job for today also you need to get rid of all your candy and you're going to need to spend it wisely because once candy is gone then you won't be able to earn any more so you won't be able to buy candy pets and you won't be able to buy candy upgrades so it's time to go and spend them literally right now Okay, so if you have any interest at all in pet collection and upgrades, then you're going to want to spend them literally right now, like I just said, because these eggs will be gone. This entire area will be gone and these pets will be unobtainable. In fact, these pets could be worth quite a bit. So if you can stock up on them, you may want to sell them in the future for gems for players that just weren't around when the Halloween update was here. So in pet collection, you will see that there is the witch's cat. I've got them all here other than the dark matter, which I'm working on right now. But you want to obtain as many of these as you can now, keep them in your inventory and sell them later for gems. Obviously, the other thing you need to do is do your upgrades guides because you can keep upgrades even after the event ends. However, you won't be able to get them again after the update ends. And of course, the most important thing, this huge pumpkin pet. This is your last chance and my last chance to get it because I'm afraid I still have not hatched one despite spending billions and billions of candy. So what I'm going to do is have one last attempt because this pet is going to be probably the rarest pet in the game. So I'm going to drop some luck and we're going to hatch some pets. Actually, let me check my auto settings. Yeah, auto delete is enabled, but I have a full inventory. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to do what everybody hates and that is I'm going to have to quickly delete a bunch of these. I actually find this quite relaxing. So what I recommend you do whilst this is happening is take a deep breath. Assume your yoga position and breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Hitting that delete button shouldn't feel so bad now if you follow those instructions. And one last time and we're done. Enjoy this view of a ton of mythicals and enjoy this regularity of hatching mythicals and that sound because we're not going to see it again. So let's call upon our friend DJ LCLC.
Okay, I've run out of candy. Oh. <laughs> that was it. That was my last attempt. Did I get one? I'm not even sure. Let me check. Okay, this has to be the hardest pet ever to hatch. I've... I'm gonna... No, I didn't get one. I didn't get one. Oh well. Maybe next year. Anyway, this year, in fact, not long now, the cute cuddly aliens update is coming to Pet Simulator X and we have this tweet from Preston showing these pets in action behind him and he is looking pretty buff for November. Let's take a closer look at these pets because they just actually look really cool. In fact, I've got more information on which ones are legendary and which ones are mythicals later on in this video. But first, if this is a two-part update, when are the hoverboard skins coming? Us, Pataji Jentha. Well, Preston said this update like two days ago. However, now he's gone back on that and apparently it's potentially a two-part update. We're getting the pets guaranteed in this update, the aliens update, and then eventually we'll probably get the hoverboards. I wonder if it will be midweek or maybe one week after. We do also have this fresh image from Robloxian Leakers, a new group. I will leave a link in the description down to their Discord server. And these are the boards from above. They all look pretty cool, especially this flame board, which I like the most at the moment. Kind of reminds me of these Hot Wheels toys. In tradition, just before the update, Preston is active on Discord and Lanada43 asked, add some new game passes. And Preston strangely said, any ideas for passes? I don't really have plans to add more. Is he feeling okay? I like money! Pulling up the options, there are some spaces here for new game passes. Where are they? No, they, they, there's no space here, but down here I've always spotted that space there and these two here, thinking that maybe one day some new passes will be added. Fear not, because we have some news on the NFTs, so Preston will be making money from those, luckily. And also, Travi here said, for the Christmas event, make all pets wear Santa hats. Preston seems to like this idea. Another idea that Preston seems to like and that's going to make him a ton of money is, hang on, the, the steampunk chest is about to crack, so let's do that, let's get that ton of money and then we can go on to Preston's ton. Boom. All right, so in my previous video where I purchased an NFT pet from outside of Roblox, a lot of you were concerned that this goes against the Roblox Terms of Services. However, Hero Raven Song asked Preston, could you once again state that Roblox has pre-approved the NFTs to stop all the false information spreading? And Preston has confirmed, we are abiding with the terms of services. We were extra careful about it. Everything being spread is misinformation. So I appreciate all the concerns in my previous video and on Twitter in all the comments, but I'm going to be okay. Purchasing that NFT pet is totally within the Roblox Terms of Services. Also, we now know that this pet, the NFT pet, the huge Pegasus, they're going to be just like other huge pets and they're going to have the best friend in chance. Now, I know some of you are a bit upset with the price and that all they do is give best friend in chance. Previpe here says that's lame and they cost $500 plus. Preston says I didn't set the price. It's a totally free market. Speaking of that, Let's go have a look at the price today. Okay, let's take a look at the prices and see what things are selling for now as it's been a few days since we last looked and there are only four days left before these auctions end. So we can actually sort by price high to low and obviously the most expensive one is still the rainbow one. So who's been placing bids on this? In fact, we don't know. It's just anonymous numbers. So these people wish to remain anonymous. In fact, Tyfly. So Tyfly seems to be a generic collector of random stuff. So this person may not even play Pet Simulator X, but is also bidding on the Pet Simulator X NFTs. The second most expensive huge Pegasus is actually the one that I bid on. So, so at the moment, it looks like I'm still the winner of this pet by a huge amount. I may have placed a bid a bit too high. Noob YT29000 actually pointed out Preston, most players on Roblox are kids. So how would they be able to get that type of money? And Preston responded, hate hearing that. Never designed any of my games for kids. I make games for fun because it's what I love to do. I can't control or gatekeep the audience. I love that my games have such large demographics, but I definitely don't cater to anyone. 
Very interesting. What are your thoughts on this? Because Roblox was originally aimed at children, although a lot of older players are now coming to the platform. What do you think about Preston's response to that? I would be interested to hear in the comments. Okay, new update, new pets. Everyone's saving their tech coins right now, at least I am. I hope you are too, because coming soon, right here, are some new pets. Now we have this image from RGL Links. There is a link to their Twitter in the description. At first, I thought this could be an exclusive pet. However, I then found this from Leak Gang. It shows the astral box in gold, gold. which means it can't be an exclusive. Is it a mythical? I'm not sure. Could it be a legendary? That I'm not sure of either, but oh, great timing, dude. One legendary that we do know is confirmed. This image from Preston shows that Mebo can be a legendary when he's on his UFO and when he's not, he's just rare. We also have all of these pet decals with the name of each pet next to them. These are really good quality thanks to Leak Gang and these from Pets Simulator X leaks. Again, I will leave a link to their Twitter in the description. These are very high quality showing what they look like in the game and also these. Robloxian leaks have also provided us with these dark matter versions of the pets. If I were to take a guess, I would say that this dude here is going to be the mythical in the update. I thought it would be fitting to end the video here and hopefully we never have to come back and grind the heaven chest ever again. Goodbye Halloween, we'll see you next year.